Hey guys, welcome to Redefine Gospel YouTube channel where we are thriving in Christ. This channel seeks to link the word of God to the contemporary times and ultimately uh, ensure that we are thriving in Christ. So guys, if you want to thrive in Christ, you really need to subscribe. Click on that subscribe button and click also on the bell for post notifications so that you're able to know each time I upload. So as I have earlier alluded to, uh, to in this particular video, I'm going to be talking about my struggle with self-esteem. Growing up, I've always been this big girl, this, you know, plump girl. And each time I used to maybe go past maybe a matatu or people, they will just say, hey, Kanono, I remember this some <laughs> In primary school, the people used to call me Kanono. I remember someone called me Bulldozer. I remember, like, there were so, some insultive names. Some people would say, hey, I'm a kuwa mkubo, but I know what you mean, especially when you're with your parents. But it really got to me. And in high school, it was so clear. And then uh, you realize my skin is not like so clear. It's not clear. So I remember I had so much insecurity about my skin not being clear, especially when I got into high school. And I used to think throughout high school, I used to think that I'm not attractive. I used to think that, you know, the only thing I can do, I was good academically. I was good at extracurricular. I was like, I really did well. I can probably say that. But I used to feel like that's an inadequacy that I had. So if I would get a friend or a person who will actually affirm that I look good, that I'm okay, then I would just go with the flow and allow the relationship to be toxic because at least this person is affirming me that I look good. And that was basically my struggle with self-esteem. But it reached a point I was like, enough is enough. I can't continue like this. And you know, sometimes you're told you're fearfully, you're wonderfully made. But you don't... How do I put it? You don't see it. You don't, how do I put it? You don't believe it. And until you believe it, then it can't help you. You're being told that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. It can't help you. You know, there are those moments I'll think, wow, I'm so big. You know, I will try so many things to make sure that I'm smaller and all those things. And it is important to take care of your health. I'm not saying it's not important. But I remember there's a friend of mine who told me, maybe it's your genes, you're meant to be big, but just be healthy. You know, and I'm like, you don't know what I'm feeling, you don't know, and there's that victim mentality. And I know you may not be having the same struggle with me, you may be having maybe another insecurity with your past, an insecurity with other things. And what I just want to say in this video, like the me message today is just crisp and small, crisp and clear, like, do not, never let anyone, never, never, never let anyone bring you down because of how you look. You have to understand that when God made you, he ordained you and he looks at you and he says, you are good. When God was creating the universe, he looked at everything he had created in Genesis 1 and he said, it is good. So when God looks at you, he says, it is good. And he, there's something that God wants you to accomplish at such a time as this. Despite the, your insecurities, despite your inadequacies, God still wants to use you. And the moment you don't value yourself, the moment you do not appreciate yourself, the moment you don't love yourself, then there's no way you can bring someone else into your space to love you. There's no way you can bring someone into your space to actually show you that you're valuable. You really need to know that you're valuable, that you love yourself, you know you respect yourself, so that when this other person is coming, that person does not even have a lot of work to do because... You know, you don't even love yourself. So, like, you know, you're lying to me or something of that sort. It is important to know and release and surrender your insecurities to God. Because sometimes we have lived in that victim mentality, in that place of thinking that this is my situation. I have accepted it as it is. I am bad. I am not beautiful. I am doomed to fail. And you have already accepted that situation. But that's not what, how God looks at it. God changed his name. Like, if look at Saul. Saul was a bad person, but God changed him. So God can actually change that particular situation of you. But you need to release him to you, to release yourself to him. Like, you need to enter into that place where you're releasing yourself to God and saying, this is not my illness. You know the way you say, like, Ugonjwayangu, like my ill, my disease, my inadequacies, my insecurities, they are not yours. You really need to surrender it to God. The moment you surrender your insecurities to God, God is able to move you. And right now, I feel I'm usually very confident about myself. I used to be insecure even about my hips. Like I would be like, like people are like, hey, so hips, nini. And I, I used to see it as a bad thing. Like trust me, some people usually look at me and like, oh, you're sure? I mean, you're just trying to be humble or something of that sort. Okay, that's what they tell me. So, <laughs> something I've come up with already. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
they tell me about and I, I'm like no I'm not comfortable in my own skin but you have to love yourself learn to love yourself learn to be your biggest fan like i remember i used i usually beat myself over stuff like over not accomplishing like of late i've been having so many things on my plate yani like so many so many so many things on my plate that i i, I end up beating myself over not having done my devotion i didn't do this i didn't do this i didn't finish this i was to finish this chapter i didn't finish but I have learned to be my biggest fan and to appreciate myself when I'm doing things and not to beat myself and show myself to be inadequate. You get? So that will be it. I'm going to look like there's this particular channel I follow that usually has beautiful, beautiful quotes and beautiful uh, messages about about different topics. I'll look whether they have self-esteem then I can insert that clip somewhere. But that will be it for me. Be encouraged. Release your insecurities to God. Until next week, it's bye-bye from me. And as always, remember that God loves you a lot. Bye-bye.